Hello all. Uh, welcome to SAPPM. So, as per uh, many you uh, subscribers request, so I'm I am uploading a new video. So this new video is on LSMW. So LSMW, many of might know the LSM. What is LSMW and how to upload the data using LSMW for but for the users who are not who are new to sap and uh, who are trying to do the bulk uploads bulk master data uploads in ecc so this video will be very useful for those kind of users so the full form of lsmw is legacy system migration workbench okay and nowadays in s4 hana this LS, uh, many of them are being are using ltmc Okay, LTMC they are using, and very few in SAP ECC used systems, ECC used projects, they are still carrying the LSMW. So it would be useful for those kind of uh, users. Okay, so now we will see today, uh, we will see a simple equipment master data upload. Okay, equipment master data upload using LSMW. How? bulk entries can be quickly updated in sap quickly entered in sap using lsmw and how we can save the manual efforts and how we can save the time okay so uh, everyone might know or might not know that there are 14 steps there are 14 steps that we need to perform for the lsmw okay so we will be going through all these steps and uh, we will see the practical how the LSMW works. Okay. So now what is the T code? T code is LSMW. Right. Then this is the first basic screen that the system shows for the to create the project, sub project, and object. I have created one new one so let me create I have created already but let me create a new one for you so my project let's say ZZ EQ UI okay so this is for equipment master data upload so I'll use this for equipment master data upload and sub object is Z EQ UI let's say Z EQ UI this is for equipment mass upload right any 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 num, uh, sub project and sub project name you can give so it is not a problem so z eq ui underscore data that's it z eq underscore data okay now this i need to change object is z eq ui yeah z eq ui underscore Okay. okay now it shows the first screen right so let me take a screenshot of this first screen the first 14 steps and copy here so we will go one by one with the screens right so where is the first screen so maintain object attributes maintain object attributes go to display change right go to batch input recording click on batch input recording go to recordings overview there is nothing so we need to record now okay before that let me close this screen yeah we need to record now click on record recording is z eq ui okay z eq is what equipment data upload okay Save this transact. What is the T code? You know, everyone know. I is the one is the T code. Now I am recording this. Now my value date is on 03 equipment category. I am going to use the machines only. Next, here I am going to give it as uh, centrifugal pumps one. Okay, centrifugal pumps one, and my object type is 3000. The manufacturer data is 
वेर मिनरल्स ओके नेक्स्ट क्लिक ऑन एंटर गो टू लोकेशन माय मेंटेनेंस प्लांट आई एम गिविंग द डिटेल्स ओके सो यू गिव द यू आल्सो गिव द डिटेल्स बेस्ड ऑन योर फॉर व्हिच मेंटेनेंस प्लांट यू आर परफॉर्मिंग द एलएसएम डब्ल्यू सो आई गिव द कॉस्ट सेंटर आई गिव द प्लानिंग ग्रुप मेन वर्क सेंटर मेन वर्क सेंटर एंड द corresponding planning plant and that it these are the basic very basic details that I have given uh, for my equipment master data to upload and now i have recorded my now my recording is saved now what is it i need to click on default all okay this is very important very very important to click on default all now the automatically the corresponding fields gets updated here now save this back what is your recording name z e q u i so enter that recording name here z e q u i okay so save this. okay now go back go to the second step maintain source relations click on execute display change create source structure create any source structure like z z uh, e q u i data okay any any name you can give okay so equipment mass data upload okay click on this tick mark save this. simply save this not no need to do anything just create and save before going to the third step right go to the object overview go to the object overview click on list if you click on list you see here you will find the fields that has been recorded and the descriptions and the data type and the length okay so this we will copy right you copy this only fields and paste it here in any excel sheet okay paste it here in any excel sheet okay i have already did that if you see here i already did that i have already pasted individually this is my field this is my data length this is my description so same way copy his this data length the table name t code you ignore anyway that is a table name and t code so no need to bother on that copy from the date valid from okay so copy the length and paste it in the excel sheet right same way copy the descriptions and paste it in the excel sheet clear now now go to back go back to sap this is done now come back go to the third step maintain source fields click on click on execute okay display change go to this tab table maintenance right go to the table maintenance what you need to do copy this copy this from the excel sheet paste here and the data type is always character okay so you just maintain as c no need to be specific to be the proper data type as what system shown in the previous screen so just maintain blindly as c and what is the data length data length we already have the data length right so copy this paste here field description simply copy the field description and paste here okay click on enter save this okay and go back now we have saved this now again save here you come back and now go to maintain structure relations okay maintain structure relations display change place the cursor here okay yeah uh, yeah this is fine you don't need to do anything here okay yeah after that go to this step maintain field mapping and conversion rules click on execute okay display change go to extras auto field mapping 
Okay, so these are the possible uh, radio options that you need to set. Click on Exit, Auto Field Mapping Complete, and the fields that gets mapped automatically to the fields that we have recorded. So just simply save this, right? Now go back. Next, no need to go to this transaction. So this particular step, maintain fixed value translation, user defined it is no need. Straight away go to specify files. Before going to specify files, what we need to do, whatever we have copied in this Excel sheet, in the column wise, you make it as a row wise. Okay. Like if I show you here, if I show you, so I maintained this in the column wise. So I have transposed this to the row wise like this. And I have entered my values, the data which I want to upload, right? So I have entered that here. So what is my uh, pump name? Pump description centrifugal pumps 3. Okay. Centrifugal pumps 3. Same way. Pump 4. Pump 5. Pump 6. Pump 7. Okay. And rest of the data is same. Let the manufacturer be Metso, Beer, ABB, Nets, Bongi, Foley, whatever. And the category is M only. Technical object is 3000 only. Date and all these things are same. Okay. So this you will enter like this is the maintenance plan. This is the location, plan section, work center, company code, cost center, maintenance planning plant, my planner group, my maintenance, uh, uh, plant maintenance work center and my, my corresponding planning plant. So this is the data I'm going to upload. So even in the real case, you will upload the same kind with more line items. Okay. So this is for the demo purpose. Uh, we have been just entering how many five line items, right? So save this or else if you don't save also, that's fine. Now, after entering, copy this data, copy this data, go to the notepad. This is very important. Go to the notepad, enter that and you simply enter that no need to do any modification system itself takes the space and all so save as lsmw2 okay save lsmw2 is my file now which i am going to upload now close this now i am going back to sap specify files execute display change on the front end right so what is my file name lsmw2 open what is this lsmw2 correct and if you see here all these things let it be the same okay so no need to change no need to change this even let me cross check cross check that okay yeah so one thing we need to change we need to keep the tabulator here okay and execute save this now you have uploaded the file. Now next step is assign the files. Okay. You have assigned the files. Simply save this. Next read data. Just click on execute. Hello. See how many it, it read the data. Automatically it read the data. Five line items it read. So next display read data. Okay. See. The, the red data it got it, it is displayed now. Next convert data. Execute. It is converted. It all happens in the back end. Just it will show how many line items it converted. Now display converted data. Okay. This is very simple. So it has converted to green. Next create batch input session. Right? Click on execute. One batch input folder with five transactions created. Okay, run batch input session. Execute. So select this line item, process, display errors only, process, okay. Click on process, it takes some time because uh, in the backend now system is creating the entries. It is uploading, it is mass uploading the data. Processing of batch input session completed, okay. So session overview, no errors are there, so it ran successfully so we will check now we will check whether the uploaded data has been created in the 
database or not so what is my maintenance plant my plant for my testing is amr1 okay click on execute if you see here see if you notice here my centrifugal pumps got created with the proper equipment number it got created even if you cross check everything all the data has been captured correctly okay so this is how we do the data upload in lsmw so what happens in lsmw is already project sub project and data object were already created and kept by the consultants or whoever whoever is responsible for the data upload that particular consultant he will create and he will keep for equipment data he will do the recording and he will keep separately for uh, functional location he will do the recording and keep separately so what the only step we need to do is we need to just check the template we need to just check the template here in the source fields you need to check, just check this based on this you need to maintain the data sheet template like this in an excel sheet you need to maintain like this and you need to collect the information from the client and you need to tell them these are all the mandatory things that we need to enter as per the template and you will uh, collect the information and you will once the information is collected and finally approved that this is the data that is need to be uploaded then you will copy paste in excel or in a notepad and simply you go to this particular specify files step directly to the specify files and you will start uploading and these are the only steps that you will do okay but as a consultant uh, whoever like is responsible for the data upload lsmw he will create one for equipment one for uh, function location one for task list so whatever the requirement is based on that he will do the recordings and he will save this okay so this is how we do very simple it looks like uh, there are 14 huge steps but if you go into deep the the data upload is very very simple okay so i hope uh, you guys had liked this video so please let me know if you have any issues or doubts in the comments and if you like the video please share subscribe and comment yeah okay so uh, i'll stop the recording and we will meet in a new video thank you